In today's video, stage four of fat loss, fulfillment. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com and I hope you're having a wonderful Monday morning. I am wearing my Chewbacca shirt. Yes, I saw the new Star Wars. I hope everybody out there uh, that is into that kind of thing got to see it. I, I definitely enjoyed the movie. I'll leave it at that. We can discuss it at another time. But my channel is not about Star Wars. My channel is about fat loss and this video is actually part four of a four part series. So if you haven't watched the previous three videos and you kind of like the tone of this one, well, I think it might help you out to listen to the first three because what we're gonna talk about today is stage four of our fat loss goal, which is actually fulfillment. Stage four meaning we do what we gotta do to fulfill our goal. Now, fat loss can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. You might just wanna lose those five holiday pounds you gained you might want to lose those 50 pounds that you've gained over the last couple of years. You might be going on a vacation, family, wedding, photo shoot. You might be a competitor, a competitive athlete. Fulfillment for a competitive athlete looks a lot different than fulfillment for someone that just wants to lose a couple pounds and put their waist size back down to two inches so they don't have to go have their pants let out, right? So let's talk about the process of fulfillment because the last phase that we went through was about monitoring and adjusting. And the monitoring and adjusting phase is probably the most difficult. This is where things require the most experience, okay? Because setting up a plan, not terrible. You know, first, first phase was transitioning, then we're gonna execute the plan. That's not terrible because even if the plan is bad, you're gonna be able to adjust it in this phase. The third phase is where experience is a major factor because you need to understand when to adjust calories, how much to adjust calories, when to adjust cardio, how to adjust cardio, when to take a day off, when to take a week off, when to do a diet break, how to do refeeds. These are all things that I've learned through experience and even things that I've changed over time because of things like research and speaking with other coaches and just trying to find out what the best practices are. So the most difficult part is the monitoring and adjusting to get us to the fulfillment, right? So why is fulfillment part four? Well, because when we get very close to the end, this is where the most difficult part happens, okay? And again, when I'm talking to someone about fat loss, especially a lot of fat loss, goal definition needs to be clearly defined because it gets very difficult. It's going to get uncomfortable for just about anybody. Fat loss, our body fat, once our body has adapted to that level, it's going to do things to try to prevent you to lose that body fat. Your body senses that it's losing energy, mass, all of these things, and it has some protective measures in place to ensure you don't starve to death. Our brain, that's right, every thought you have comes from our brain. Our brains are designed to protect us, okay? So the thoughts you have, the hunger you have, the signals you have, all the stuff that's going on is a part of the fat loss phase. And without that clearly defined goal, you're not gonna really be able to get through the tough, tough times. That's why competitors are typically much more successful at breaking through barriers, breaking through plateaus, getting the body to levels of body fat that are, while aesthetically very pleasing, usually very uncomfortable to maintain for a while. So when I talk about fulfillment, for the competitor, it's gonna be very much different than fulfillment for someone that's getting married. Maybe not that much for someone that's getting married because you both have a deadline, but definitely more than someone that just wants to lose 10, 15, 20 pounds because you're gonna place a lot more emphasis on that deadline. And when you have a deadline, there's no going past it. It's just about getting it done until it's done. And that's all we're gonna worry about. Again, fulfillment being the completion of the process. So what makes fulfillment difficult to reach? Well, our body adapts and we go through plateaus as this process occurs. This is where things really need to be paid attention to, okay? The scale can start to become a bit obsessive. This is where I have people freak out because the scale hasn't moved in a couple days and we start to pay attention to things like body composition and pictures a little bit more. And here's why. 
One trend that I have noticed with my experience over the years is that there will be a change in visual representation of the physique, either in mirror or pictures, prior to a drop on the scale. So when I adjust someone's calories, cardio, plan to elicit more fat loss, and the fat loss does not happen in the form of the scale changing, I then have to go, okay, do we need to adjust again? How is our timeline? Do we need to get more aggressive? Or is there a visual change here that tells me perhaps if we hold on for another couple days that we'll see a change? Now, most of the time I do a weekly update, but understand that our bodies do not operate on our timeline. Our body does not know what the hell a week is. Seven days is just an arbitrary amount of time. But for us, our lives, our schedule, it makes a lot of sense. So what I'll start to do during a very tough part of fat loss, such as trying to reach fulfillment, is we might change up the way we do our updates. We might do an update every three or four days. There are even times where I do check-ins every single day just depends on what we're going for. But I don't necessarily make adjustments based around a seven day schedule. I might make them based around a 10 or a 14 day schedule. That's why it can get a little bit tricky with fulfillment. And here's the thing that happens most often, as I personally experience. When you don't see the result on the scale, you start to worry. And when you start to worry, you start to get stressed. And when you get stressed, there are some hormones present that make it even harder to lose body fat. So you see, this is a vicious cycle. This is our brain preventing fat loss from happening. So what happens when you work with someone who has a lot of experience with this? Well, hopefully if you hire a coach that you trust or you work with someone that you trust, you're going to let that go. You're going to, as they say, trust the process. Now, trust the process and being a fool are very close, okay? You wanna trust the process, but you wanna make sure that you're asking the right questions, that you're being informed properly, and that you're being allowed to understand what's going on. One of the things I really like to do with my clients is say, hey, I see we didn't drop this week, but instead of just telling them we're not making adjustments, I'll explain why we're not making them, or I'll offer another solution, or I'll ask a follow-up question. How is your recovery? How is your sleep? How is your training? There are possibilities here where we might just need a little extra recovery. Life stress can play a big role. Are you stressed at work? Is it the end of semesters and you got a bunch of finals? Are you traveling? Are you moving? Are you changing jobs? Are you not getting the sleep that you were getting before? Has your life changed? Are you more sedentary than you were previously? So if you had a job as a waiter and you're on your feet all day and then you switch jobs and become a desk jockey, well, that's a major change in NEAT, okay, non exercise, activity, thermogenesis. So we're looking at overall life factors here. So it's not just a black and white question. These are very dynamic processes. And reaching fulfillment, stage four, is very rewarding while at the same time being very difficult to get there because you start to play mind games with yourself. When body fat gets really low or when the body has gone through a long fat loss phase, we start to notice things become a little more difficult as far as hunger, energy, mood, okay? And when those things start to happen, the people around you might question it, you might question it, you might look a little different in your clothing, people might even question if you're still going to the gym. I know I dealt with that the first time I dieted down, you know, I lost 35 pounds and um, in my work clothes, I was swimming in them. So by the end of my first contest prep phase, people were curious what was going on with me. So I had to deal with that. That was an added stress that I didn't deal with the next time I went through prep because I was prepared for it. So a lot of these things can be helped with the experience of going through this process. And you know, obviously that's where someone who's done this process before should be able to benefit you. So yeah, stage four, fulfillment. Congratulations, you are executing, you're monitoring, you are adjusting, and you're getting to your goal. Now, initially I said there was four phases, but when I started writing these out yesterday, I started thinking to myself, you know what, there is a fifth phase. A fifth phase of fat loss after you reach fulfillment. And for those that work with me or know me, you might know where I'm gonna go with this video, but for tomorrow's video, I'm gonna talk about phase five, and then we will wrap this up. That'll be the fifth video in this series, and I think a very good direction of how to become an expert at fat loss. And perhaps this is something I could put into words, do an ebook and give away if you think it would be, it would be beneficial. You know, maybe I would dive more into depth in an ebook, um, something that I could just put out there to give away for you guys to kind of understand the process of fat loss from transitioning to execution 
to monitoring and adjusting to today's video, fulfillment to tomorrow's video, which we will talk about tomorrow. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me today. It's Paul from ProPhysique.com, and I hope you're having a great day.